Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and what you see behind me is a 1954 Ragtop Beetle. Uh, guys, I've been trying to get this Beetle for about four or five months now. Uh, I was notified back in the summer of uh, last year that uh, a couple, uh, his father died and uh, had this car since 1962 or early 60s if I'm not mistaken. And he was the second owner and uh, he recently died and uh, the car was then basically handed down to the son and the daughter-in-law. So they gave me a shout last summer and said, hey, look, you know, we got this car. Uh, we really don't know what to do with it. If, if you want it, make us an offer and uh, let's see what we can do. So back and forth through email and phone calls, finally four or five months later, we uh, landed a deal and I had this car picked up in Ohio and trailered here. So uh, I had four flat tires. I could not get air in the tires. Uh, the car did roll, thankfully, and it was able to get wenched up on a truck. So, I had this car delivered, uh, and uh, once I saw it, I was like, wow, it's got some decent bones to it. It does have some rust repair that needs to be done. It's pretty typical uh, for, you know, northern cars. Uh, but what we have is a real relic, uh, something that's numbers matching and uh, pretty much all original. Uh, there was some paint repair, uh, maybe some damage that was done to the car, an accident or some sort uh, back in the day. So, I see some, uh, uh, some body filler or, or door repair on the passenger side, uh, the front apron and, and uh, spare tire tub are rotted out, so it looks like they've, had, they've been banged up a little bit. Uh, so that's something that has to get repaired. Uh, but overall, everything is pretty much complete on this car. It's got the old hard tail lights, which usually when I find cars in this era, those tail lights are, are long gone, because as time was going on back, in, back then, people would replace those hard tail lights and go for the bigger lights just for safety concerns. And they would go back to the dealership and the dealership would do this sort of thing. We also noticed that it's gotten the overrider bumpers on it, which was also not common until late 55 here in the United States. Uh, so um, you, the, usually they would have had the Euro blade, just a straight blade with the short uh, bumper guards on it. But it looks like this car has had some sort of uh, dealership repair or modifications, upgrades as the years were going on. We also see the, uh, the cutouts in the rear apron for the tailpipes uh, to stick out instead of the single tip. So a uh, couple things here and there that make it you know, uh, that, that's had some modification to it, but overall the car is all there and is numbers matching. I went into my Classic VW Bugs app. If you got an Android or an Apple phone, Classic VW Bugs app, you can punch in your VIN number, which is what I did here, and um, it told me the, the birth of the car. The birth was in June of 54. And uh, I looked up the motor numbers, and the motor was also June of 54. So very good possibility that this motor is the original motor. And, uh, you know, I did send away for the German birth certificate uh, to see for sure exactly what details are with this car. And uh, I can't wait to get that. That could take a while. But So as we go around the car, basically what you see is a pretty solid specimen. The front apron, uh, and like I said, the spare tire tub looks like they need to be redone. Uh, but you can get those panels, which is nice. Uh, but overall, it's got the original fenders to it. It's got the original four-tab hood to it, even with, with the five prop uh, bolt holes for the front hood. And uh, the rear deck lid is also the original deck lid. It's got the original headliner in it, the original seat upholstery. The dash is uncut and unhacked up. So um, uh, it, it, it's a beautiful piece, and uh, I can't wait to start jumping in on it. And uh, this is what how we kick the year off, and uh, I am excited to jump in on this 54 ragtop. 54 rags, as you don't know, if you don't know, are the three-fold ragtops, uh, which is uh, pretty collectible on the, uh, on the market today, and uh, many people are, are looking for these cars. It's got the semaphores as well. Uh, another cute little add-on that people definitely want for their Beetle, so. What's really cool on this car is the VW logos, the emblems on the front quarter panels of this car. I've never seen them on both sides like, uh, like you see here, but um, really nice little uh, feature that's, it's, it's always cool when you get some of these Beetles and you see something different that you've never seen before. Uh, and it, it, it's really nice. There was always a lot of different accessories and quirky things that Volkswagen did to the, to the Beetle. Um, but as we continue on in this car, I think this is, this is a great candidate for a restoration. The door shut amazingly well. So uh, the, the heater channels do not really have any major cancer or rot through uh, to, to warrant uh, heater channel removal. Uh, so I, I think we can get away with what's there. Uh, floor pans look real solid as well when I looked at it uh, when it was up on the truck. So uh, I think we got a fine specimen here and uh, come back week after week. I'm going to you know, probably update uh, the website as we progress through this restoration. 
Uh, we're definitely probably going to go back to the original color. It looks like that original color of Strato Silver is what we see here. The dash looks untouched and uh, not repainted. Uh, so what we see there is uh, Strato Silver, and I think even when it went back to the dealership at one point or some repair shop uh, to have some repairs and repaint done on some areas, uh, they went back to Strato Silver. Uh, so that was one of VW's, Volkswagen's best colors that they did, I think, in the 50s. It was a metallic color, uh, very fine metallic, and um, just a beautiful piece. So uh, keep up to date and uh, follow along as we progress through this restoration and the dozen of other restorations that we're doing right now. So I'll probably be working on this car uh, after hours or on weekends uh, when it's my time to work on my projects. Um, so if you guys got any questions, you can email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or of course visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. And again, check out my new uh, Classic VW Bugs app. Uh, we've updated it, the interface is different now and uh, it's got a lot of cool features in there to help you on the fly if you're working on your Beetle. All right, guys, take care.